So this is the River Teeth, which uh, this year has gained category one status as a river, which means not only that it's one of the very finest salmon rivers in Scotland and in Britain, but in the world. Last year, there was a significant decline in the numbers of Atlantic salmon. And uh, we all have to work much harder to safeguard the future of this incredible fish. Not just for the fish's sake, but also for our own sake, because the salmon is just a litmus that gives us an indication of the health of a much wider ecosystem. Not just the ecosystem of the river either, because this incredible fish lives a life that is a miracle. It starts in the headwaters of the teeth there, and uh, it hatches, and after a year or so, it heads downstream as a smolt, facing all the hazards of a small fish from predation, from everything from kingfishers to cormorants and otters, and then on out to sea. It moves from a freshwater environment to a saltwater environment, and there it migrates, again running the gauntlet of other fish, seals, and all sorts of things that could eat it. And it makes its way, following the ocean currents, to the west of Greenland or even up to the Faroe Isles. And there it'll spend a few years becoming larger and feeding in the sea before eventually returning to this very river, to the river of its birth. And that miracle is happening right now in this strong current, storm-fed river. We've got the salmon returning. It's amazing. And this is a creature that we all need to take a far greater interest in because of the long nature of its journey. It tells us about multiple ecosystems, ecosystems that we ultimately depend upon. And today I had the great privilege of being able to open the fishing on this river. And it was a real privilege to be able to come down to the river in a ceremonial fashion, which is a very indigenous way of respecting the salmon and of greeting its return to the river. And that's something that I hope the local families will take the time to do, to go out with their children, parents and children, to welcome the salmon back and pass that tradition on to future generations. And hopefully as time goes on and we learn more about this fish and the, the trials of its life, we'll learn to manage the environment in a far better way for everyone's benefit.